can't. All right. Teacher? Teacher. Um, the reading for today. <laughs> okay, I found it. All right. Okay, very good. Okay, so this is beginner uh, reading. Let me get this organized. All right. There we go. Okay, so um, uh, we're going to be reading some things and hopefully um, going over some vocabulary for you um, to help you with your reading. Okay, so um, let's see here. Okay, all right, so it looks like that for this reading we're going to be talking about four big carnivals, which I know many of you, of course, are from Brazil, so you know more than you want to know about the carnival in Rio. <laughs> okay, um, but there are also others. Okay, so let me... All right, so here we go. The carnivals that we're going to be talking about today um, all have to do with Easter time, right? So we have in New Orleans, which is in the state of Louisiana here in the United States, we have, um, <laughs> you're funny, yo. Um, we have what, what we call Mardi Gras. And this happens the day before Ash Wednesday. All right. So for those of you who are, um, for those of you who are Catholic, you know that um, 40 days before Easter is a time called Lent. Uh, okay. So for us here, we call it Ash Wednesday. Uh uh, Ash Wednesday is a day is the day that Lent starts. Um, the season of we call it Lent here. It's a religious season. Okay, um, and so Mardi Gras for us here in the United States usually happens about two weeks or so before Lent and the time of Lent will change uh, depending on when Easter is that year. All right. Okay. Then Venice, um, they have their carnival that happens. And of course, Rio, which I know most of you know about already. And then we have um, Port of Spain. Um, in Trinidad, we have their Excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, we have their festival. Okay, so now, um, when when we start to read, the first thing that that we always like to do is to do something called skim read. Um, so let me just explain. So skim skim reading means that you just read maybe the first sentence of each paragraph. Just to get an idea um, um, of what the passage will be about, right? So you can get an idea: Will the passage is it is it informational? Is it persuasive, right? So you want passage informational? Is it persuasive? Um, is it a narrative or a story? Narrative is the word we use. So what, what's happening? What's going on? Um, and that's the whole point of skim reading. So skim reading is just to get a, the basic idea. You're not reading for details, just the main gist of, the, of what the passage will be about. 
All right, so if I were to skim read this, let me show you model how I would do this. Um, I would look at this and I would say, okay, well, it says Brazilian samba. Samba is one of Brazil's most popular music and dance styles. Okay, and then I see a part here called samba reggae. All right, so that's again about music. Uh, and it says something about a famous group of music, okay, and then there's, that's it, there's some reading comprehension, okay, some vocabulary here, so we'll see uh, what happens, okay, so all that they're going to ask me about here really is um, the type of music in Brazil. <laughs> Okay, so at least I know that this passage is going to be most likely informational, right? It's not going to, um, it's not a story and it's not a poem. It's not an argument. It's informational. Okay, so I'll make this bigger and we can start to read. All right. All right. Would anybody like to read? I want. Yeah, me I want, I want. Okay, so go. Okay, so we're on. Go ahead, and you can start for us. Okay. Yes. Samba is one of Brazil's most popular music and dance styles. In many ways, it's the symbol of the country itself. In the words of one of modern. Sambes mean uh, artist uh, T. George? What? Yeah, I think so. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Samba is our uh, T. Uh, our, we, huh? Samba, we, we would say Samba is our truth. Truth. Our Samba is our truth, our peculiarity. Peculiarity. Rarity and our flight. When people today hear the word samba, they often think of the this. I can't see what the it's festival. Festival of carnival, carnival, mm -hmm. and the city of Rio. Uh, the ten. We say Janeiro. Janeiro. Uh huh. But there are many different types of samba, and this style differs uh, throughout Brazil. Very good. Okay, excellent. Okay, so samba is one of Brazil's most popular music and dance styles. In many ways, it is a symbol of the country itself. In the words of one of modern Samba's main artists, Sue George, Samba is our truth, our peculiarity, and our flag. When people today hear the word Samba, they often think of the Festival of Carnival and the city of Rio de Janeiro. But there are many different types of Samba, and these styles differ throughout Brazil. Okay. Um, next. Chama? Sure, that was, who, what, I forget, who was it? Ur. It was Ur. Ugur. Ur. Okay, go ahead. Today, one of the most popular types of samba comes from Baha'i, a state in the earth eastern part of the country. It's called Samba Reggae. From the 16th to 18th centuries, over 3 million Africans were brought to Brazil to work yeah. as slaves. Today in Bahia, 80% of the population is black. Samba from this region of Brazil is heavily influ influenced by African rhythms. Modern samba reggae is a mix of Rio samba, African drum beats, and Jamaican reg reggae. It's a bit slower than Rio samba and is usually performed in large groups, sometimes with over 200 drums playing at one time. Very good. Okay. So, yeah. So, Dennis, yes, I, I understand that the way you pronounce it in Brazil is different, but 
in, Eng in American English, that's what we're going to say. We're going to say carnival. <laughs> that's what we say. <laughs> Even though it is pronounced differently. So you have to be prepared for that. Um, and the same way we say Rio, all of it, the way we say Brazil, we pronounce it, we butcher it compared to the way you are used to hearing it, right? <laughs> Very good. Okay. Um, very well read, by the way. Good pronunciation. So um, now let's talk about some of this uh, vocabulary. So one of the words was differ. This is a verb, and it means um, to be different from somebody or something yeah. else. To be different from. Okay. Um, so I might say something like um, cats differ from and the word differ always you takes the the preposition from okay so we can say for example cats differ from dogs in that they are more independent um, so yes and diverge also Dennis diverge also takes the word from so there, there are certain words in English that almost always take a certain word after it. And differ, I think it was Rwan who read that, right? Differ almost always takes the preposition from after it. So we say this differs from that. Um, it's very common in, um, in okay, writing. Can... You'll see this a lot, yeah. Very good. Okay, and then um, let me see about other words here. Sorry, sure. Okay, um, and then heavily influenced. This is another. These are two words that you will hear and see together often. Heavily influenced. Mainly affects. Yes, this means a huge effect. Uh huh. A huge or or large effect. Or, I'm sorry, effect. So um, this is again. This is another co-locution. If you want to use the fancy use word the or, fancy word or, or the word that means, word, um, that means um, they often are seen together. Very good. Okay. Are there questions so far about any of the content or the vocabulary? Okay, uh, who else would like to read? I think it was Johnny, I think you said earlier. Yes? I believe it was. Sorry, Can I try? I, I th Johnny, did you, did you ask to read earlier? I think you did. Yes. Okay, so you can continue at around line 20. Bahia. Okay. Bahia most famous drumming group is Olodum. Many say the group invented the samba reggae sound, but Olodum is not the only musical group. Its members have also created local organizations to help your people at the poor. Every year in the city of Salvador, Bahia, the lively sounds of samba reggae fill the streets during carnival, one of the world's greatest inspired. Okay, very good. All right, so invent. This word means to... Uh, um, to call to someone to attend something. Yeah, oh, yeah. to create something. Uh -huh. So we can say, oh, um, let's see. Um, um, oh, I think it was... Like a machine. Like yeah, I was trying to give an example, like Fleming. Uh, right. um, Steve Jobs invented Apple. Yeah, you can say like um, Henry. No, iPhone. Sorry, Steve Jobs invented iPhone. Yeah. Okay. There you go. That. I can, or we could say Henry Ford invented the car. I, I'm not sure if he invented the car totally, but he certainly had a lot to do with it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, 
And now organization. Um, um, this is a, a large group that's organized for a purpose. Uh huh. That a large group that is um, for a purpose of some kind. So, for example, um, well, here in the, here in in the United States, we have the FBI, right? Uh, they're they are a large government organization, and their entire purpose is to solve crimes, right? That's their purpose. Um, lively means. Uh, Mm, full of actually it means like you know full of love uh, so we can say um, something like um, he has a lively personality especially Uh, he has a lively personality, especially after he, I'm sorry, he has had a beer or two. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, organization. Uh, I, a diphthong, Dennis. Um, a diphthong is when two vowels come together to make a new sound so in this case it's not a diphthong so you would just pronounce it organization yeah organization uh, organization no Mm -mm. I don't think so, Dennis. We would say organization, just pretty much like it says in that particular example. Yeah. Okay, very good. All right, let's continue. Oh, now we're at the questions already. Okay, choose the best answer for each. Okay. Um, what is the main idea of this reading? Okay. Now, before, usually, uh, just, you know, so... In case you ever have to take the TOEFL or the IELTS, anything like this, um, for me, I usually read all of the questions quickly, just so I can kind of get an idea about what kind of questions they're going to at the, or what kind of questions they're asking. So, for example, in this case, they're asking me, um, a main, "What's the main idea?" The main idea means, "What is the passage mostly about?" So in case you don't know what that is, the main idea means what the passage is mostly about. All right. Uh, the next, then number two, they want me to finish a sentence. Number three, they want me to finish a sentence. Number four, they are asking me what heavily influenced means and then in number five they're asking me about the pronoun it they want to know and they're asking me what does a pronoun do okay all right so now I have sort of a general idea about what they're going to ask me and I, I have reviewed so I sort of know what's happening <laughs> all right so number one what is the main idea of this reading all right would somebody like to read all the choices okay so, go ahead Ugor you can read all of the choices uh, what is the main idea of this reading a the Rio Carnival is the most important festival in Brazil Samba Reggae is an important type of music in Brazil uh, Rio Samba is very popular all over the world. Uh, samba is a type of African music. Okay. So, of I, all of those, which is the best answer, do we think? I think Thanks, it is A. The, okay, Rio Carnival is the most important festival in Brazil. Okay, is that what the passage was mostly about? Maybe V, Samba Reggae is an important type of music in Brazil. Okay. B or C, so let's 
let's just quickly review. Let's, let's see. see. What so oh, the I remember title something about Brazilian Yeah, the title samba. is called Brazilian Samba. So um, a little lower you can see samba reggae. Yes, yeah, it says samba reggae, so let me go down here. So it talks about samba reggae and then yeah. So I would say that that's the most the main idea of the passage would be letter B. Although they did talk about A and C and they talked about D too, but the the main idea means what did the what did the passage mostly talk about? So for number one, I would say B. Very good. Okay, number two. Would anybody like to read? Me. Okay. Go ahead. Is that Max? Go ahead. Yes. Samba reggae is the most popular in Rio de Janeiro. It is faster. Uh, and more energetic than Rio Samba is a mix of different kinds of music that started in Jamaica. Okay, so let's go back and see what we have here. Oops, sorry. I think the answer is C. Okay, let's verify. Okay, so. Okay, uh, it's the most popular type of samba in Brazil. It's a mix of African drum beats and Jamaica, a bit slower. Okay, so you s want to select answer C, you said? So, which I, the choices? Is a mix, uh, samba That's, reggae is. I think that is C. It's yeah, a mix, a mix of, of different kinds, kinds of music, music. uh huh. Because it's a slower than the samba from Rio. Yeah. And it's, yeah mm -hmm. Definitely, it's not the most popular. It started in Jamaica. I don't think it said that, did it? Let's see. No, it, no, they, they didn't. It's a mix it of. It's a mix with the reggae who yeah. which is started in Jamaica. And it doesn't say anything about Rio, so we're good. So two, C. Excellent. All right. So for two, we'll have C. Very good. Okay. Three. A lodum is. Hey, if somebody you get it. Yeah, I think so. That's pretty much, yeah, it's um, as well known as musical. I'm going to say A. Very good. Three. Very good. Uh, Dennis, no, I've never been to Brazil. Nope. No. I've never been to South America, ever. I've been to Central America, kind of, but um, never south of, never further than Belize. That's as far as I've gone. Which, which language? Uh, speaking Belize? Um, I Spanish, as I recall. Spanish? Uh-huh. Oh. Mm-hmm. I... Yeah. I mean, they may speak other languages there, but I was only there as a tourist, so... Uh, I, yeah, that's what I recall. Okay, good. Number four. Who would like to read? Can I? Yes. What does Samba from this region of Brazil is heavily influenced? by African red teams mean uh, A. Samba is usually played by African musicians B. African music was important in creating ba Bahian Samba C. Brazilian Samba is very different from African music D. African music is increasingly popular in Bahia uh, I think it is B. Yeah, very good. Uh huh. Excellent. So four, I agree, B. Very good. All right, now they want us to look at line 17, so let's reread line 17. It says, uh, modern, sorry, let's make sure you can, okay. Modern samba reggae is a mix of Rio samba, African drum beats, and Jamaican reggae. It's a bit slower. Okay, so it is referring to modern samba, modern samba right? Mm -hmm. Modern yeah. samba reggae. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, because the reggae is more, more slower. It's, oh, it's slower. Yeah. Uh, so very good. Okay, so for number five, we can change the word "it" in line seventeen to. I think we said a right. <laughs> uh, samba reggae. Very good. Okay. Then they have here. Uh, okay, compare contrast, vocabulary. All right. 
We can work on this. Vocabulary practice. Let me see what else they have. Context words, steel drums. Uh, okay. All right. Very good. Okay. So for the vocabulary from today's reading, were the words organization, differ, mix, lively, influence, and region. Okay, um, I talked about organization, differ, lively influence. Okay, mix. I didn't talk about this. Mix means a combination of things. Yes, yeah, so, video. Uh -huh. It's just uh, components of many things. Yeah, mix. It can be a noun or it can be a verb. Uh, so uh, just be careful of how it's being used in, in the sentence, right? Because it could be either a noun or a verb. All right. Then region, this just means an area, and it is a noun. It's uh, always a noun. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, very good. Okay. So is there anybody who hasn't read who would like to read? Yes, I can. can I? Okay. Go ahead. Uh, an article. Oh, an article of Salvador Bahia, Carlinos uh, Brown, is one of Brazil's uh, best known music. His music is a mix of samba, reggae, and pop music. And it's very. Uh, lively. Lively and fun. Very good. So now, the only mistake I heard is. Um, Brazil's best known, uh, we say musicians. Musician. Uh huh. Very good. So a musician is a noun. It's a person, um, and then musicians just means um, more than one. Very good. Okay. Who would like to read next? And like other, I do. Okay. Good, Christina. Is the one is we did, one? we did one. One was. Uh, differ, no, mix, and mix. one was mix, and two was lively. So now we are where it says, and like other artists. Uh, and like other arts from the Bahia. Influence many of Brown. Could be songs have been. Okay, so. I think we can say, and like other artists from the Bahia region, maybe? Bahia. Bahia region. Ah, region. Okay. Uh -huh. Many of Brown's songs have been... Have been... Something by African drumming rhythms. Have been... Lively. Have been like by, by Africa drums. Uh, well, African drums are lively, but it doesn't quite fit here. So many of Brown's songs have been blank by African drumming rhythms. So we would say that his music, Brown's music, has been influenced by. African drumming African. rhythms. So three would be region. Region. And four would be influenced. Influence. Yeah. So we have so far a native of Salvador, Bahia, Carlinos Brown is one of. Carlinos. Okay. The, the NH sounds ni Carlinos. Carlinos Brown is one of Brazil's best known musicians. His music is a mix of samba, reggae, and pop music and is very lively and fun. And like other artists from the Bahia region, many of Brown's songs have been influenced by African drumming rhythms. Very good. Okay, who would like to read next? Yeah. Okay, who, who has not had a chance to read yet? Uh, me, okay, me, uh, you me. go ahead. For more than 20 years, John has been a songwriter. Sorry, 
For more than 20 years, Brown has been a songwriter, musician, and singer. In the 1990s, he also started a non-profit organization, Good. the Prakatan Music School. The school provides free education for poor children in Salvador, Bahia. Very good. Okay, so organization, excellent. Very good. Okay, perfect. All right, let's see what we have next. Now, okay, let me just say this. Um, okay, they we <laughs> we don't have to do every single exercise on these paper. <laughs> if you would prefer just to practice speaking, we can do that for the next time. Um, uh, I think we've we've done quite a bit of reading, so speaking is usually what the students. Um, really want to practice. <laughs> so if you prefer, I'm happy to help you with your speech. <laughs> right? Because for most of you, you have to read a little bit, but you have to speak more than you have to read, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's last do Last yes. lesson, we, we were talking about marriage. Yeah, oh, yeah the, <laughs> in the last class. <laughs> yeah, well, in the last class, um, sadly, I think I picked a topic that um, is very interesting here in the United States, but wasn't very interesting everywhere else in the world. So I learned. Um, it's <laughs> yeah, so I was trying to um, make the class more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so usually if you talk about men and women, marriage, you know, people pay attention. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, very good. So, um, I, I, you, where, where are you from? Are you in Indonesia? Where are yes, you? Yes, Miss Kathy. Uh, I remember. Remember me. Yeah. I do remember. Thank uh -huh. you. Thank and you. And you have, you have very good pronunciation. I'm impressed. Thank you. That's very good. Thank somebody <laughs> somebody has taught you quite well that's for sure oh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah so so where exactly in Indonesia are you uh, in Jakarta ah. capital of Indonesia yeah uh-huh mm -hmm. now okay where you are you often have hurricanes yes or tsunamis what is it that mm, yeah yeah. yeah, in my country, yeah, but not in Jakarta. Jakarta is uh, only flood. Only, only flood. Okay. Only. <laughs> <laughs> only flood. Oh. Only. It's horrible. Yes, because horrible, we... very terrific. Yes. yes. And oh horrific, horrible, and terrific. Right. Yes. So now we we were reading earlier or today we were reading about different festivals. So what's a famous yeah. festival in your country that you have every year? Mm, festival of uh, Batavian culture. Batavian here refer to a native old uh, sorry native uh, residents uh, or earlier. The resident of Jakarta. Okay. Uh, Batavia is the name of the city uh, oh. referred to of Jakarta. Oh, so okay. It, it's all here. Um, Batavi, Batavi, or in in in, in this language we call it Batavi, but uh, for foreigner they call it Batavia. Batavia okay. Is the name of the city. Mm -hmm. And so, what yes. what happens during the festival? Do they what? Uh, I mean. Just like they, a big party, <laughs> <laughs> like a carnival. Yeah, like a carnival. yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I think. A, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go no, I, I'm just saying that I notice um, um, that one. Th well, there are many things that we all have in common, right? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Understanding men and women. Nobody yeah. anywhere on earth has the mm -hmm. answer. <laughs> The second thing is everybody likes to party. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. 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 People around the world. Sometimes uh, foreigners uh, from UK, America, France, and worldwide. Yeah. This is coming into Thailand only for seeing uh, 
the land water festival. Some uh -huh. friend. Uh, Dennis, you're so funny. <laughs> yeah, it's so fun. Only yeah. for seeing uh, Songkran. Songkran Festival is the well-known uh, festival in the world. Uh huh. The biggest too. And well, people... mm -hmm. No, I, I also wanted to ask you, um, now maybe this is just a coincidence, I don't know, but mm -hmm. we have, of course, I live in Los Angeles, so it's yeah. very diverse. So. We have mm -hmm. many, many, many Indonesians here, uh, all over. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. and, but and all of them seem to speak very good English. So I was wondering, do you, are are you taught English at it in school, or is it like no. a second language there, or how does no. it work? No, no, uh, it's depend on the person, Miss Katy. Uh, okay. Here, I'm using my English uh, every day because I want. Oh, it's uh -huh. depend on your willing. It's depend on your willing. They can speak English because they, because they want. I In see. Here, we we do not know any rules that have uh, that 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 say that we have to learn English as your second language. No. In school, yes, we are we are learning English since uh, young age. Yeah, but oh wow, you, okay. It's mm -hmm. it's it just it's just like a, it's like a. <laughs> no yeah, more. Like any, I mean, yeah, yeah it, it, it's it's on you how, how you want to improve your English. You want to use it every day. Of you course, want, it's depend on you. And right. for me, because I really like to travel, so meeting is very very fun. Yeah, That's very fun. much. <laughs> very good. Okay, well, thank you, thank you, Ayu, because I you yes. didn't have. Okay, so Dennis, you need to say something. What? You got a virus disease? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, you can say I, Dennis. You can say I, I got a. You mean like wait? Do you mean like a cold or a flu? Is that what you mean? Oh yeah, you say I got. If we say I got a virus. Uh huh. Or you could just say I got a cold. I got a cold. We say. Uh huh. Oh, welcome, Alberto. Welcome. <laughs> welcome to Colingo. Um, before I forget, let me give you that Facebook so I don't forget. Um, so, who was that? Alberto. And there was somebody else here, too. Um, that is the Facebook link for to join the Facebook page. So I recommend. Okay, who else have I not heard from? Felipe. Let's practice. How are you? Are you there? Hi, how you doing? Uh, I'm I'm good. Very good. How are you? Yeah. Nice nice greeting, by the way. Hi, how you doing? That sounds very native. Very good. <laughs> uh, fine. My okay. microphone is blanket. Ah, very good. It's now, are you? Blanket. Where are you? Also, uh, are you also in Brazil? No, I'm from Colombia, Bogota, oh, Colombia. Colombia, very good. Okay. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> it's Colombia, not Colombia. Very good. Okay, excellent. <laughs> yes, land of land of the best coffee. <laughs> yeah, the yes. best coffee, yeah. the best the emerald, <laughs> and the best and chocolate. And very good people. The best yes. chocolate. Uh, everything I had in my country. <laughs> yes, and food the people, too. The people <laughs> is very friendly. Yes, because here again, because since uh, I live in a big city, pretty. we have many, many Colombians here too. So um, yeah. we have <laughs> excellent Colombian restaurants. Woo! Yeah, really cool. good food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> very good. Delicious. <laughs> Sometimes a little there bit salty. Delicious. Sometimes. Yeah, I think you yeah, use a lot salt. of salt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sometimes, yeah. sometimes. <laughs> uh huh. Sometimes, yeah, but it's really depend, good. Oh. It depends of the region of the country. How oh, many? I, okay. Any region. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Well, anyway, yeah. it's delicious. So, if yeah. if the food that I have here that they tell me is from Colombia, then. You, you have some of the best food I've ever had in my life. <laughs> it's delicious. Okay, thank yeah. you. Very good. 
All right, Max, where are you from? Yeah, I'm from Argentina. Ah, okay. Yeah. You are the land of uh, Juan Martin Del Potro, right? <laughs> what? Do you know Juan Martin? I think he's from Argentina, yes? Juan Martin. Juan Martin Del Potro? Maybe I'm wrong. Martin Fierro. Yeah, he, ah. plays, ten he plays tennis. Oh, yeah. Del huh? We call him Del Po for short here. <laughs> yeah. I did. I did watch the video, Dennis. Dennis is asking me if I watched a video that he shared with me, where this girl was eating an octopus and was still alive, a raw octopus. <laughs> <laughs> Quite amazing. Well, okay. welcome from Argentina. So very good. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Yes. Uh, we have the uh, here. We have uh, delicious food too. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, you uh, uh, have you ever eat? Uh, have you ever eaten? Uh, Argentinian. You know what? Now this is funny. We don't have, at least that I know of. I am not familiar with any Argentinian restaurants, so um, I I think there are many Argentinians here, but they don't open a restaurant. I don't know why. Uh, so no, um, I don't have I, access to food. I have a, I have an idea for that. Oh okay, Oliver, let's let's hear it. It, it, ha it happened that the um, the main or main famous item in the Argentinian cuisine. Who say or oh, Argentina oh. restaurant? If you are going to Argentina, you find a lot, but I mean a lot of restaurants. Uh. But mostly they are all made the same thing, which is barbecue. Oh. So okay. there is no so much so much market in you say to barbecue. Dennis. <laughs> Not every Dennis, you're so funny. Not everybody in the United States is illegal, you know. <laughs> and then um, it doesn't matter because, well, here's how it works here in the United States. So they, you know, as more and more people do come here illegally, the problem grows and grows and grows and grows and grows and grows. And, grows. and then what happens? The government says, eh, okay, you're all citizens. They just give it away. So then they're legal. So at 11.59, they're illegal. And then at midnight, one night, they're legal. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, yeah so it's just that's what we do here. So all of this talk about being illegal and this and that, I, I don't quite understand why they talk about it so much because – one day, they'll just have a magic wand and say, you are now a citizen. <laughs> yeah, in, in they elections, have, they, need, they need this. They have a magic stick. Yeah. To make it legal <laughs> That's or <right>. illegal. <laughs> yeah. Because we've done this so many times. We did this in, like, 1989, and then we did it again in, like, 1994 or something. Or 98, I forget. We'll do it again soon. I'm sure. <laughs> we always do. <laughs> I, I, I think what, what many people don't, don't realize is how large the United States is as far as space. We have so much room here. We, there's plenty of room. Plenty. Still. So it's not a problem. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Katie, hey, have you ever um, have you ever eaten asado argentino? Uh, well, I think I, I, the only thing that I have that we have here are these empanadas, but I don't think that's Argentinian, is it? Yes. Oh, okay. Now churrasco. Okay, so we have these all over, but I don't know if they're if they're really Argentinian or not. Because the way that we can get them here in Los Angeles, at least, is you can get them baked, baked empanadas or or fried empanadas. So 
Um, either way. Uh, I like both, especially the fried empanada. <laughs> and turkey pan? Have you ever eat turkey pan? I have not that I'm aware of, but um, I've eaten a lot of different food. But um, we have here, we have well or nearby in my neighborhood, we have a Brazilian restaurant. It has barbecue, so I I've had that, but that's not from Argentina, so I don't. I, uh, I've had that. Uh, sorry, I missed it. I missed. I think I missed it. Oh uh, no! I, I, I'm sorry. What, do, what does espanadas mean? Oh, empanadas. It's like a. Um, it's like a. It's like a pastry, but inside is meat. Like it could be pork or chicken or beef or cheese. But it's like a bread or, or surrounding it. No, oh, okay. It's yeah, it's good. Yeah, in Turkey, they, there are some dishes like this. Yes, I'm sure. Uh huh. Yeah, it's very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dennis. Like I like I said there. What I was saying. We here in my neighborhood. There's a Brazilian restaurant just not far, so I go there often. It's called Gauchos. <laughs> Gauchos. Yeah, that's what it's called. <laughs> yeah, uh, the the only I mean it's a great restaurant, but um, it's Brazilian, so you have to kind of go a little later, like around nine or ten o'clock at night, and and sometimes that's too late for me, <laughs> so. <laughs> So um, I usually only go there on the weekends. Kitty, mm -hmm. do you know feijoada? Feijoada. I don't, I don't think so. Can you type? Yeah. Feijoada. Oh no, I don't think so. Yeah, is beans with uh, it's beans with uh, pork, mm. but uh, bacon. Uh, ribs. Uh, uh, oh. I don't know. Uh, we uh, ribs. Uh, the fumada here. It's like uh, smo uh, smoking. Smoking. Oh. Ribs. Wow. Rib. Yes. It sounds really good. good. <laughs> delicious. Yes. Yeah, it's very delicious. Yeah, like I never. It's funny because like sometimes I think, oh, one day I want I want to go to Japan. But then I think, what will I eat there? <laughs> but when Sushi I think, yaki. <laughs> Sushi yaki. Okay, but when I think, oh, I want to go to Brazil or I want to go to Chile, I never worry about the food. I know it's going to be good. <laughs> Katie, yeah. there are so many American restaurants in Japan, so you don't need to worry about that. Oh, uh, okay, <laughs> but okay, but I would I would before. try some suit. I would try some Japanese. I would, but um, yeah. <laughs> it, it, they, we, we, yeah, sometimes it's uh, like strange food. Yeah. Uh, made up from, uh, you know, made from uh, raw fish. Yeah. Oh, what? yeah, sushi, yeah. yeah. But raw yeah. fish is, I, I'm okay with raw fish. I'm okay with this, good. Mm -hmm. I'm okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I really can eat almost anything. Uh, however, I don't <laughs> think. I don't think I could eat a live octopus. <laughs> it's okay if it's, if it's cooked. <laughs> yeah. But um, anyway, yeah, but here, we, I mean, we, we have every type of restaurant here nearby, but I tend to go to the what I would call the Hispanic restaurants. So mm -hmm. Mexican or Brazilian or or Central American, like Colombian. Yeah, or like El Salvador. There's a Peru lot of restaurants Peruvian. here um, from El that represent El Salvadorian food. Oh, so it's delicious. So I'm very used to that. Pupusa. Yeah. In Salvador, pupusa. Yeah, papusa. Some, that's some, right. Uh, papusa. Yeah, yeah. they're I know, so I know. good. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. What's this? I know. Mm -hmm. What's this? Papusa. It's like a. It's yeah, it's like arepa. You know yeah. what is arepa? It's with like a, a flu. Uh, I don't know what say in English. Flu with the some some kind of a uh, little uh, meat with yeah. meat and 
and pork and oh, but, but it's good is good when, I like it's really good <laughs> mm, yeah sometimes <laughs> <I eat. laughs> yeah mm -hmm. it's different place in all all the world and different kind of food in yes. Colombia in some place is is famous the ant the the ant the insect ant uh, the people eat ants ants ant, oh, okay. ant. uh, yeah interesting yeah yeah I I I so I've heard is it, uh, good I've wow. heard uh, that here in Brazil they they have this too but uh, uh, one kind of of ant ants not not in Colombia say Colon, colonas, hormigas colonas, ant colonas, I don't know what to say, Be, big behind, no, I don't know. <laughs> it must be a big ant, right? A big, they must be yeah, big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah big. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are they covered in chocolate? <laughs> then I'll try. No, no, chocolate. <laughs> Some people, he say it's like peanuts. Oh, okay. Yeah. The flavor is like peanuts, I, oh, okay. I don't know. And That's the other, it, the other, the other, they are written the magazine um the people for for in africa uh -huh. it are uh, many uh, he know he play for take a uh, cows and he say for for alimentation for the people for food he may is better he take me, mm, less space like the cows ah. the people he say yeah he, he, is better for the food for all around the world. Interesting. It, uh, mm, in insect, only insect, food ah. insect. Have b very good vitamin and every eating. And so, magazine. I don't so, know. Miguel, <laughs> you didn't tell me that you were married to a wonderful girl. <laughs> Who, me? <laughs> Yeah. No, I'm separate. No, 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 <laughs> I'm no, free no. Now. no, 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 no. Miguel Perlazza. You didn't tell me you were married to like oh, a Miguel. wonderful girl like IU. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are we are old friend, Kathy. We I are, know. Uh, uh, you know, like a veteran of poor Kalinga students. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> we oh, are veterans. <laughs> yeah, Miguel. Hey, Miguel. I'm again. looking for. I'm looking. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Felipe. I'm looking for pretty girl. I'm now I separate. I'm looking for pretty girl. <laughs> well, um, there's maybe lots Colingo. of them here at Colingo. <laughs> yeah, lots yeah, of pretty I girls. <laughs> I need practice my English <laughs> and whatever you, language. You need, <laughs> yes, you need to practice your English, but not only. Not only You're so funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. If you practice your English, you can, uh, you can, uh, you can. Um, I think you can just uh, mail do a mail order bride, right? You heard about this? Mail order brides, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you can just order yeah. one from the United States. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for, you practice. I'm pretty before. good in the United States. <laughs> oh, Dennis. Let me see. Um, uh, I don't think we have those in the United States, Dennis. Maybe cheese? Are they cheese? A cheese ball? Maybe? I don't know. What's inside, Dennis? Is it cheese? Or is it a big ant? Mm. Oh, so, uh, sometimes with chicken. Sometimes with with chicken and oh. uh, cheese. Uh, with cheese. Oh, okay. And. Um, the the pasta is with uh, I don't floor floor yes floor is, is right yeah yes. and I, fried. I'm sure I'm sure that whatever you call them we call them the same Dennis because I, I don't think so um, uh. yeah it's not definitely not an American thing so <laughs> there isn't is there isn't isn't there yeah. Because so, usually, when when foods come from a different country, we keep the same name. We don't really change the name. We keep it the same. <laughs> yes, coxinha is very famous here in, in Brazil. Ah, uh, yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. Very good. Okay. Now, did everybody has everybody had a chance to speak? Anderson, tell us where are you from?
I, I know you're here because you've been typing. I thought. Oh, <laughs> now? Yeah. Here I am from Brazil, São Paulo. Ah, okay. I have been heard people here talking about Salvador Bahia. Uh huh. Kind of food, there are a lot of kind of food in Salvador. Right. <laughs> we we must to to have some. I don't care about it. it's food from there because it's very strong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I eat a little, a little bit, but uh -huh. not. <laughs> Miguel, what are we gonna do with you? Don't listen to him, are you? He's just flirting. <laughs> <laughs> Miguel! <laughs> <laughs> Miss Candy said you're flirting. Yeah, oh it's all you do, Miguel. <laughs> Just a big tease. Miguel will call you the big tease. <laughs> I call her, I call him Miggy. <laughs> <laughs> Miggy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, very good, everybody. Excellent. All right, so let me, again, I always give you this just to make sure. And then um, for, for any of you, I have, there's a lot of people out there in the lobby. So um, some of you may be shy to, I don't know, to ask any questions. But you can go here and... You can ask your questions here, and I will answer them for you. This is my Facebook page, and everything's free. Uh, and students often ask questions, and you can ask questions there. Just just on the wall. You can just write on the wall, and um, I will answer the questions for you. No problem. Very good. And then also on that page, I have... Mm, some video, just short, free things that may help you with your mm -hmm. conversation, with your English. Um, all kinds of different things. I'm always putting something on there. <laughs> so you can work on that. I found out this. It's free. All is free. Dennis, no worries. Yeah. Yeah, it's, Yeah. Colingo for now is free. Now, who knows what's going to happen, but my site is free. So, it's, I mean, I just do it for my students. That's it. There's nothing else. <laughs> it's just something I like to do. <laughs> all right, everybody. This was fun. It was nice to talk to all of you, and um, I'll okay. see you all soon. <laughs> Bye. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye. 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 Bye.